Hey there, everybody. This is Pastor Charlie. Today is Wednesday, the 11th of September, and I'm here with a midweek reflection on uh, for you. We have uh, had two weeks now of this Wesleyan Rooted series. We talked about growing deeply in the first week when I was, I was preaching that sermon. And then on Sunday past, Pastor Alice talked to us about reading faithfully. And of course, we were talking about reading the scripture faithfully. I think that is one of the, the practices of our faith that is most important and central to a growing Christian faith. But it's also one of the most neglected practices in our faith. We're all so busy, we're pinging and rushing from thing to thing that taking a few minutes to sit down devotionally with the scripture, to read it for our souls, that can be one of the the hardest things. And so one of the questions that we asked on Sunday morning after Alice's sermon was, was what kind of habits are helpful to to help with scripture reading? Uh, What are the techniques that we can use? And And I think about two of those, two of those that I see as prevalent in the Wesleyan tradition. So it's absolutely in standing with who we are. The first one of those is is journaling. You know, much of what we know about John Wesley and about his life and about his theology and thinking and how he read scripture, much of it has come from the fact that, that he kept a daily journal, a detailed daily journal. He would tell us how many people he had been speaking to and how many times he had preached and received communion. But we also have record of of the things that he's reading in Scripture and the things that he's learning. He does that in his journal. We also see it in his sermons as well, that he has this healthy engagement with Scripture. And I would say to you that 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 is actually one of the things that's been most helpful for me in my own Christian journey over the years, is taking some time as I read Scripture to journal my thoughts. Let's say I'm reading a passage from the Gospels, one of Jesus' parables. I just simply write in my journal, This is what I was reading today, Luke chapter whatever, verse whatever. And this is the story that I read. And this is the meaning that I took from it. And and this is what it might mean for my life. Simple things like that. The act of writing it down on a page means that it moves from the printed page of the Bible into my head and down into my heart just in the act of writing a little bit. So I, I commend journaling to you as a thoroughly Wesleyan practice. But the other thing that I would say to you is that I don't think the scripture was ever designed to be read solely on our own. What I mean by that is that, again, firmly in our Wesleyan tradition is the act of meeting in a small group for fellowship and for encouragement and for the opportunity to talk about what it is you've been reading and what it means for your life. And by having that as a second practice in our lives, what I can do after I've journaled my thoughts on Luke chapter, whatever, whatever, then I can turn up to my small group later on that week or month and I can say, hey, this this is what I've been reading this week. This is how it has encouraged me. This is what I think it might mean for my life or for our life as a group. And again, in the act of sharing that, you are inviting others to come alongside you. You're inviting others to support you in the way that you're sensing the call of God in life. So those are two things, friends. Just simply reading scripture, journaling a little bit about what it means and how you understand it, and then the act of sharing that within a small group. And so my two pieces of advice this Wednesday are this. If you haven't got a journal, get out to the store and get one. And just start taking a note each day of what it is you're reading and what it means for you. And also, if you haven't got a small group yet, if you're not part of a fellowship group to come together and talk about your your reading and and what you're hearing from God through that reading, then give us a call here at the church. We'd love to connect you with a group of people um, for whom that that, that, that could be a help for you, to to connect you with a small group uh, where you would gain that fellowship and that space to, to talk about your learning and your growing. Take care.